How to make the spinning clone effect. Today's video is sponsored by the worst superhero of all time, Superman. Fool your friend to believe that he can fly. Cut the clip in the part you want, and duplicate it. Right click in the middle clip, select change clip speed and check the freeze frame box. Trim the freeze frame clip to your desired duration, make it a new fusion clip, and open the fusion page. Add a merge node. Duplicate your clip and connect it as a foreground to the merge node. Add a polygon mask and start cutting out your subject. In case you have some parts in the mask that you want to cut, just add another polygon mask, create the shape and change the paint mode to subtract. When you are done, select all your mask nodes and make them a group, without any particular reason, just to keep things organized. Duplicate your clip with the masks and connect it to a new merge node as a foreground. Select your middle clip and add a transform node. Move the pivot point to the position from where you want your image to rotate. Make sure that you are in the first frame, and activate the keyframe for the angle value. Go forward just few frames before the end of your clip, and change the angle to 360. Add a duplicate node, set the time offset to some negative value and increase the copies. Tweak around those until you get a spin of copies that you like. Go to the Jitter tab, open the Gain controls, and increase the red, green and blue gain. Go back to the Edit page, set a short adjustment layer on top of the cut, add a strong camera shake effect to it, duplicate it and place it on the end of the cut also. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, that's life.